recognized. Thank you, Mr. Speaker. Uh, Mr. Speaker, I, I really can't dispute many of the previous speakers' uh, comments. Look, bottom line is that um, the aviation industry, the aviation mode of transportation is the safest mode of transportation. It is the safest way to travel. And the United States has the gold standard in regard to aviation safety. However, we are aware of, we're all aware of two very tragic accidents that resulted in 346 lives that were lost, 346. Just because we have the best, we have the safest, does not mean that we should ever stop striving for better, we should ever stop striving for perfection. Uh, Mr. Speaker, we had five hearings uh, on this legislation. There were numerous expert panels that were put together uh, to review this, to extract every single lesson learned. Uh, I, I want to thank the acting administrator at the time, Dan Elwell, and, and want to congratulate him on his retirement, but for, for his steady hand in ensuring that as we move forward, that we base our decisions on facts. I want to thank him for some of the changes within the FAA to ensure that we apply lessons learned. But Mr. Speaker, as, as previous speakers noted, this legislation is the result of all of these nonpartisan independent expert reviews. We took the lessons learned and we adapted it into legislation to make sure that we can, as I said, continue to strive for perfection, to continue to focus on, as, as my friend Mr. Larson noted, the families. Uh, to keep a face on this, to ensure that we never subject future families to the same losses that we had in this case. And, and that's just what we did. I want to thank uh, Michael Stuma, one of the leaders of the families who, who called us often and, and reminded us what it was that we were doing. We were focusing on safety because this is about people, about real lives. Mr. Mr. Speaker, this bill uh, has a number of, of improvements uh, as I noted, including ensuring that, that safety management systems are applied by manufacturers and better controls over project management. The bill integrates project review within the FAA to make sure that different entities within the FAA are aware what the others are doing. The bill ensures that, that there is disclosure of, of safety, safety critical information in systems, including uh, close inspection or review of new or new or novel technologies that are introduced into the design to ensure that we fully understand the impact of those. Um, it ensures that there is conformance with the FAA design type, meaning that you can't come in and simply amend a design type if you're making significant changes to the aircraft or if the aircraft design evolves over time to where if initially it couldn't simply be an amended design. Um, and, and Mr. Speaker, it also includes something that's very important is that it integrates human factors, ensuring that we understand how humans, how pilots and others will behave in the instance of some type of, of safety issue on aircraft. Mr. Speaker, when, it, when an aircraft has a problem, you can't simply pull it over to the side of the road and check it out. We've got to make sure that this continues to be the safest mode of transportation. We've got to continue to ensure that the United States truly has a gold standard. I want to thank uh, Chairman DeFazio and, and my friend Chairman Larson, as well as, as full committee uh, ranking member Graves for, for the, the work on this bill because this bill didn't start out as something that was bipartisan that, that everybody was on board with, but it did evolve to this point. And, and candidly, there are a few perfections in here that I would like to see, but, but this is a really good bill. And it does simply take the recommendations, the findings of the expert reports, and it does turn this into legislation. So I want to thank all of my, my friends uh, for working together on this. I want to thank uh, uh, Holly and, and, and Hunter, uh, whose baby Theo didn't comply with our schedule on this legislation, for all of their hard work here. And uh, yield back.